game, Dragon Attack. It's a really cool game and I can't stop playing it. Huh? Hello. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mum. Oh, yes, I tidied my room. Shh. I'll see you later. Oh, Fiddlesticks, that's bad. I've lied to my mum, but only a little bit. I'll tidy up before she arrives. And it's not like I told a ginormous lie to the dragon of the lake, because then I would have been in big trouble. Don't tell me you've never heard this story. Great, then I can tell you it. Uh... <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the story first and tidy my room afterwards. So soon, let's go. The Dragon of the Lake. This story takes place a long time ago in Vietnam. There's Mr. Wong Lee, a kind-hearted woodcutter. He cuts wood all day long. He sells to buy food for his wife and son, and it's very hard work. Thank you, Noodle. Well done, Noodle. Ow! What's that for? <laughs> Fancy mushroom salad for lunch, Wong Lee. Ow! You rotter! <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> Isn't he awful horrible? That's Mr. Hong, and he's always taking wood that belongs to Wong Lee. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. Well done, you've done a first class job. <laughs> what the? Well, thanks for the wood. Hey, you put that down. You do as you're told. I need to sell it for food, or I'll get angry, and you wouldn't want me angry, would you? Oh, uh, no. Thank you, Wong Lee. Regards to your wife and son. Will that rotten bully never give up? Nothing to eat for my family again today. Oh, that horrible Hong is a low-down, nasty wood thief. Daff human, what's the idea of throwing things in my lake? Oh, oh, do forgive me, oh great dragon, but I dropped my axe by accident, I assure you. I needed ever so much to chop wood so I could feed my family. <laughs> oh, all right, fine, I'll go down and fetch it for you if you promise to be more careful next time. Oh, if you would do that for me, then I do promise. It's a deal. Ah! Here it is. It is the right one. Unfortunately not. It's beautiful, but it's not mine, Mr. Dragon. What is he doing? That axe is brilliant, so why doesn't he take it? Are you sure? Uh, yes. Oh, try again. Oh! Is this yours? This one? It's beautiful, but no, Mr. Dragon, this isn't mine either. My axe is a very simple one made from just iron and wood. This one is more beautiful and valuable, so why not take it? Because, Mr. Dragon, this axe doesn't belong to me, but to some poor soul who has lost it. All right, I'll try again. Ah! Is this it? Yes, that's it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dragon, thank you. This axe really is mine. Since you were honest with me and didn't try and claim those magnificent axes as your own, you can keep them, lad. They're all yours. Really? Oh, thank you. A thousand and one thank yous, Mr. Dragon. You're welcome. See you around, human. I'm so happy as can be. I'm so happy as can be. What the? Uh, thank you, Wong Lee. You're really spoiling me. First the wood and now these magnificent axes. But... Oh, you go ahead and take them. I can always go back and get some more from the lake. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, didn't you know, Hong? If you drop an axe in the lake, then a dragon pops up and gives you magnificent ones, all set with diamonds and rubies. Ah, off you go and take your axes with you. The dragon will give me better ones than that. <laughs> now, who's going to go for a little swim in this lake? My axes. My pretty little axes. Whoops. I said whoops and... Oh, no! Can't I get any peace round here? I was just having a nap. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo. I've dropped my axes in the lake. What am I going to do without them? My family will surely starve. You clumsy fool, look what you did to my poor teddy. This is one of yours, isn't it? 
Oh no, my axes are far more beautiful, set with diamonds and rubies made of gold and other precious stuff. Is that right? All right. Would these axes be yours? Oh, yes, yes, yes. They're all mine. Hold it there. Huh? You what? You're a liar. These axes aren't yours. Yeah. Mr. Hong right. <laughs> and you know what? Mr. Wong Yi sold his axes and bought fields to grow rice, so his family never went hungry again. And Mr. Hong never bothered Mr. Wong again, which just goes to show that it's never worth lying to a dragon. <laughs> did you like my dragon story? You did? That's brilliant! <laughs> and it's made me want to carry on playing with my dragon game. Oh, come on, I'm sure there's time for one more game before I have to tidy my room. <laughs> ah, ah, that's one back! I knew it! I shouldn't have lied! Quick, quick, tidy up! Oh, ah! oh. sticks. even if I finish tidying my room, I'll still be in for it. Oh, well, bye-bye now.